Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We are back in the lovely world of Minecraft. If you guys haven't seen the last episode, I highly recommend checking it out. We built this really cool little shop kind of situation over here by the water. I absolutely love how this turned out. We're still waiting for some bits and bobs to uh what's the word oxidize <laughs> there we go uh we're waiting for those little things to oxidize on the roof there so that we can get that nice little bluish green color that you see right there and there it's gonna look very sweet once it's finished um so yeah go ahead and check out that video if you haven't watched it already it was uh, quite a fun little build so today's build is going to be over by the water as we jump down over here one of you guys has requested um if i could just find it in the comments i'll put it up on the screen i'm not exactly sure what it said but it said something along the lines of since my base is at a beach as you can see here uh they requested that i build a boat and i thought that was a really interesting thing so if we jump on top of here you can see we've actually already done a boat before with uh this zelda the wind waker inspired boat that we've got going on over here but I want to build a much larger boat, and this was something that I have been wanting to do for a long time over in this area. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to go about this today. I do know what boat I am going to build. I spent the past couple days kind of figuring out some concepts and looking for some inspiration, but the area around it isn't necessarily the prettiest thing in the world. Let's be honest here. This wall uh, is very nice. I do like the wall, but... This beach is uh, still very Minecrafty looking, so we're going to have to do some work there to get this to look a lot better. So should be an exciting episode for today. Sit back, grab some snacks, relax, and enjoy today's building. Let's get started. All right, I don't do this often, but I figured I would turn on the shaders right now. I just want to look at a lot of the stuff that we've built with the shaders. Just take a quick walk around here. This is the building we built. Uh, that doesn't need to be there. We can take that back. This is the building we built. In the last episode with the shaders on doesn't that look awesome look at that much better now that we have the better clouds that is uh taking up our sky and just look at these builds man like they look so much better with the shaders on that's one thing about minecraft is i actually i really enjoy walking around with the shaders and taking a look at uh taking a look at the finished product but i actually don't really enjoy building or playing the game with the shaders on i find it very distracting to play with the shaders on but once you finish your work it's really nice to check it out like take a look at the building we built in the last episode super cool i love this color palette this red and tough with the spruce wood it's very unique in my opinion um and just a really interesting color combination that you wouldn't see all that often very colorful as well especially because we have the copper colors here and all that and uh i love this little sign we made here with the horse um so yeah i think i am going to turn this into uh the armor trim building as we discuss so i'll probably figure out some sort of interior when it comes to that but that's enough of that for today we can finally uh turn off the shaders here and we'll go back to the normal world. <laughs> Look at how dull it looks now. Uh, but we are going to go and uh, get started on this boat here. All right, so as we get started on this boat here today, I wanted to go over our color palette. We do that in pretty much every episode now. So I want to get you guys filled in here with what we're going to be building with. So that is our color palette for today. We've got these six blocks right here. We might throw some others that sprinkle in here and there that are close variants. But uh, for the most part, we have dark oak, which is going to be our darkest color. Then we move on to stripped spruce. I think this is going to be the base of the boat that goes in the water. From there, we go to spruce planks, which is going to be our main wall color. Then we have mangrove planks for the roof. And then for our trims and woodwork bits, we're going to be using oak wood and stripped oak wood. So this is a great little color palette here, and I think it's going to work really nicely in this area. All right, now that we have our uh, little color palette laid out, I'm going to start building this thing here. And uh, I'm not going to do so much explaining today. I'm just going to kind of build this thing as we go and kind of cut in little pieces here and there. Um, and then when I feel like something is important, I'll go and explain it. But I'm going to try a different style for today's video just to make the uh, video move a little bit quicker. As per usual, kind of want to shorten down the length a little bit. So let's get started. Two, three. This thing is going to be huge. Oh, my gosh. So 
So yeah, this is the size, pretty simple, nothing crazy, uh, but it is quite large. I think it's going to be, um, yeah, just a really interesting build. Uh, it's a very crazy looking boat that I've got in my head here. So uh, let's get started with the next piece, which is going to be uh, working on the trim on the outside and the underneath here. So we're going to have a lot of designing coming up here. And uh, I'm just going to kind of build this thing without explaining too much, but I did want to show you guys uh, this part right here because this is the most important part. This is the dimensions of the actual foundation of the boat, which is, um, you know, this is the main thing that we work off of. So I did want to explain here a little bit of why I chose this size and whatnot. So basically there's going to be like some sort of tower building right here uh, on the boat. And then there's going to be like water wheels and there's going to be a telescope on the front. And then it's going to have some framework underneath little bits and bobs and a really cool kind of trim that we're going to do around the outside. It's going to look sick. Let's get started because I'm going to be here all day. That already took me about an hour to finish that part. So we got a long ways to go. All right, quick little break. There we go. The sun arises and we are continuing this build. You can kind of see the shape that this thing is taking. It is a crazy build. That's for sure. Definitely one of my most detailed ones I think I've ever made. Um, and we are just getting started. So I've been at this for a while now, at least over three hours, I think. And we're not even close to finish. So I'll kind of explain a little bit what's going on here. So obviously we have the base we got that foundation with lots of little details, lots of little things hanging off the edge just to make it look very busy, very intricate. And then we have started the structure that's going to be on top. So we've got this weird little steampunk looking chimney thing right over here, which I think is pretty cool. And then we have uh, the actual base structure. So I haven't really filled in the walls or anything like that yet, but you can kind of see the design that it's going to have. And then uh, right now I'm going to make the roof and the top section. So it kind of has this like uh, extension off of the side here, which is going to have another building on top of it. And uh, this will be probably about three blocks tall, I think. So probably about that tall. Um, and it's going to extend backwards here as well. It's going to be really, really cool when it's finished. Uh, super sick. So, uh, yeah, I guess let's just get back to work. Let's keep finishing this thing. We're almost there. It's going to take a while, though. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this episode. Lots and lots of building today. All right, guys. Well, I have been at work for a while now. I have been recording for a total of five hours, so this is definitely proving to be quite the build. I think you guys are gonna love it so far. Look at that. I am absolutely in love with how this is turning out. There's a lot that needs to be done with this under section. I'm just trying to figure out how the top is going to look uh, first off, so that's why most of this is completed up here and then we're gonna work on this down here But I really wanted to build a telescope in the front I feel like that would be super super cool very fantasy looking very unique So I want to add some sort of a telescope in here So that's what we are gonna build next and uh, yeah, I'm just really happy with how this is coming across so far um, Especially once this bottom half is completed. It's gonna look really really nice, but yeah, I'm happy with this uh, We got a lot of work to do though. So let's get back to it. All right time to give this telescope a try This is gonna be difficult, but basically I'm picturing it has like this slope downwards here, so uh, I'm gonna build out to where I think the tail should be so probably Somewhere along the lines of right there, I would assume is fine, but now we need to slope it inwards to this point, which is going to be hard. So what we're going to do is use a technique. I didn't mean to jump up there. So we're going to be using stairs and slabs for this angular technique. And basically we're going to do something along the lines of this right here and just hope that it works. So, um, if I can figure out here, I think by, I don't know, maybe if we do stairs and then a slab like this, that's a little bit easier of a transition maybe. 
something like that. What does that look like? How did you get up here? So that's what that one would look like. I guess we could go down, maybe. Something like that. It's a pretty angular transition. Basically, I'm just going to kind of like mess around with these slabs and this whole kind of idea and just kind of see where it ends up. I don't really have a plan for what this angle is going to look like, so we're just going to kind of experiment with it. All right, I think that's a pretty good telescope. It's very fantasy looking if you uh, look at it close enough. It's a little crazy. I wish it wasn't raining. That makes it a little hard to see. But once we're all finished, we can take a closer look at it. But pretty good. Okay, really got to do the rest of this stuff. So let's get to work. Wow. Wow, man. Would you look at that thing from the outside? That is one crazy build. I do have to say, in a humble way, this may be some of my best work. I feel like I have spent so much time and effort on all of the little things, and it's really starting to add up. But there's just a few more little pieces I could add here and there. I'm just really, really proud of this because I put so much effort into this build today. And... Uh, I think there's just a few more things we could do to really spice this up, though. So uh, the next shot you're going to see is from right on this block right here. And this thing is going to be finished. All right. I think we are finished. Are you guys ready to see this thing? Three, two, one. Oh, there we go. How awesome is that, man? I absolutely love this. I, I just, it's so good. It was definitely worth the work. Don't get me wrong. It isn't 100% finished. Like the interior isn't done. A little bit of the other side isn't really finished. So if I fly over here, you can see that. <laughs> yeah, it's not exactly done done yet. Oh my gosh. Just from... Well, from that angle, it's a little rough. From the side that I did finish over here. Oh my gosh, is that not incredible? That looks so cool. I think there's a few things that we could kind of iron out. Like I'm seeing this right here. This is a little weird. You know what? Maybe some trap doors on the corners would help fix that. Maybe just something like this right here. Yeah, I think that does work. That definitely does work. But yeah, how cool is this, man? How cool is this build? I don't know what to turn it into, though. If you guys have any suggestions for what I should do for this thing, let me know. I, I really have no idea. The only thing that can come to my mind is maybe storing all of my enchanted books in here. I don't know why, but that would just give me a reason to come here quite a bit. And it's just so cool. I got to see with the shaders, though. Hold on. Oh, how about that? How about that? That's pretty dang sweet. And from over here as well. Yeah, the chicken in the boat. They've got a nice view now. Man, that is that is such a cool build. I love this telescope. This is so <laughs> it's just so odd, right? It's such a such a weird thing to put on a boat, but it's so cool. For the most part, I think I'm done for today with this build. That was a long one. I started at about six o'clock in the morning today, and it is uh almost uh, two o'clock so it is taking me quite a while to get this far so I will be doing the rest off camera or maybe during a stream if that's something you guys want to see but as for now I think I'm done so uh, we will definitely answer the comments of the day next and yeah let me know what you guys think of the boat i absolutely love this thing all right so i apologize dearly for missing the donations i simply just have to be better at staying on top of them i should not be missing them so again uh thank you to tanner coolidge for the five and then we have jonathan toneseth with a five and jesse sales with a five thank you guys so much for your donations it helps a lot again you didn't have to do that so i very much appreciate your support of the channel now let's answer the comments of the day while taking a look at all this beautiful scenery around us. All right, today's comment comes from Scott1336, and he says, I was wondering if you had any history or practice with art or photography or something like that. The way you approach the game, talking about composition and perspective and stuff, makes it seem like you do. So yeah, uh, it actually comes from my family. So on my dad's side of the family, my grandfather was a very, very good artist. He had practiced art for a long time, had lots and lots of paintings, and um, 
when he passed, I actually was able to uh, take a lot of those paintings and just looking at a lot of that work and the way that he did things, especially growing up around that, um, you really kind of as a young kid, I picked up a lot from his work. Now, my mother as well, being in uh, the same house as her, she was an artist. And I think a lot of that, um, you know, ended up in my genes of I just have a very artistic mind because of those two. So it's really funny. My father is not an artist whatsoever. <laughs> he, he really does not have any artistic traits at all. But my mother has all of the artistic traits, and I'm pretty sure I got all of them. Look at this sunset from this window. Is that not something beautiful? That is crazy. So although I don't have much background in drawing or art, I do value that stuff quite a bit, especially being a musician as well. I know what it takes when it comes to doing something creative. And um, I think, honestly, a lot of my inspiration just comes from paintings. So I think um, just being around my grandfather growing up and being around my mother and their artistic minds and just seeing how they talked about things and worked on stuff. I think a lot of that bled into um, just the way I do things when it comes to music and when it comes to um, especially playing Minecraft and stuff like that. And uh, also, I, you know, having other YouTube channels, I've done graphic design for the thumbnails and all that. So I just think a lot of that over time kind of just became part of my work in the sense of I just try to think about you know, things in an artistic way. When it comes to building in Minecraft, I think that's just really important. And um, why I enjoy it so much is because it's a very creative thing for me. It's not so much playing the game and playing a video game. It's more kind of experiencing um, building and making artwork and enjoying what the game can become when you use all the different blocks and whatnot and just how many cool things you can create from what is essentially a very simple palette to choose from again at the end of the day we are working with just blocks and there's only so many different colors that these blocks are so i find it quite fun to experiment with a whole bunch of different techniques and stuff and using art techniques and things like you said like perspective and stuff is a very um, great way to increase your building skill and I, I found that a few years ago and have just tried to build on it ever since especially one of my latest things I've been using when it comes to art in Minecraft is gradients and that's something that obviously b-dubs is really well known for but that is a common skill in art as well when you're drawing to use different colors and blend them into each other you can see I've done it here as well and uh, that's just something that I picked up from artwork as well, seeing other artists use those gradi gradients and whatnot and just trying to apply that to my own work. Anyways, I believe that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had an absolute blast working on this thing. It is just such an interesting build and I can't wait to finish this thing. I think the interior is going to be super, super cool. I had a lot of fun experimenting with different styles on this one and just kind of like figuring out um, different ways to do things. And, you know, I, I kind of encourage you guys to do that. If you're ever building or working on something in Minecraft, try something different for once. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one. That's about it.